Hi, this is Paul Rutherford for ScanPower, and I'm going to introduce the latest Boxed. The new Boxed is an updated version that combines batch listing and Boxed together in one interface. It's very similar to Boxed with a few changes. Uh, some buttons have moved, but if you are familiar with the old box, it will be relatively easy to convert. In these training videos, we will cover the differences in the interface and talk about new features that make it more efficient to prep and pack inbound shipments. So to get started, you want to log in to beta.scanpower.com and then you'll notice uh, when you go under the box menu that the interface looks a little bit different. There's a quick settings menu here that for warehouses and prep centers we suggest you enable the warehouse user interface um, and that will include a sub option to um, calculate shipment quantity based on the multi-pack quantity. So what this does is it in addition to um, the quantity columns it adds ordered quantity, received quantity, and shipment quantity. Uh, and we'll go over that a little bit later as well as overage and damaged unit counts. And then we should make sure to check printer settings. So under settings boxed, this is all driven from the box settings now. Just verify that the printer set up and label type and, and other uh, related box settings are as you expect. So the first thing you'll see about the new user interface is everything is in one place. We have our ship from locations here which are selectable. Um, we have purchase orders and batches on the left side here. We have shipments and boxes in the middle and the right. So depending on whether you have a shipment selected, um, you'll see whatever is appropriate for the context. So if we um, had multiple batches inside this purchase order, you could see all of them or see a specifically selected one. Each purchase order has attributes including um, whether it's FBA or FBM, whether it's a multi-pack or an item prep shipment, as well as uh, names for the purchase order and the batches, which default but are, are customizable. And then the ship from location, as well as you can add tags um, or custom defined labels to each purchase order and batch. And then if you need to, you can download the contents of the batch. So as you can see, when a batch or a purchase order is selected, the context of the search is updated down at the bottom, which is the global search bar. So if we select a batch and that batch has a shipment, then any search will be inside the shipment, inside the purchase order and the batch. So if you are working on a batch, you can shrink the user interface for shipments and just see the batch items. And if you would like even more screen real estate, you can shrink the purchase order and batch list. If you're uh, just working on a shipment, then you can construct a view that looks just like the old boxed here. And then if you want to clear out the search context, you can do that by clicking the X's in the bottom. So as soon as you select a batch, you would see all the shipments that are associated with that batch. And uh, obviously, as soon as you select a shipment, you'll see all the boxes and pallets associated with the shipment. So everything's in one place. You can uh, filter 
your batches um, by items that still need to be received. You can show items with errors. You can also exclude items that have already uh, been put into a shipment. So at the top, when you're adding items to a batch manually, you can scan them by ACE and UPC, ISBN, MSKU, and you can even find items by their title. Uh, and that, that works uh, both in the global search as well as um, adding items to the batch manually. And then there are two features that are new to Boxed uh, that should greatly reduce uh, the time it takes for new inventory that's been listed in Seller Central to be found in Boxed. Uh, we are now integrating with Amazon's selling partner API. So if an item has been recently added to Seller Central but has not yet synced into ScanPower, um, if that item is entered by InSKU, we will uh, immediately go out and try to pull it from uh, Seller Central, and there should be no lag in adding that item to a batch. And then finally, um, if a shipment is imported and the address on the import is slightly different um, from the, the current location, but they're similar, when that shipment is imported, we'll do a lookup uh, using the Google Places API and we'll merge those locations uh, for the shipment and the current location so that you don't have duplicate ship from addresses, uh, nor will any shipments go hidden because they're uh, just slightly different from the filters that you have set up for sub-users. So those are two big features that um, mark the difference between the old boxed and the new one. And then another difference is in the old batch listing, uh, when you received an item, um, you could scan and edit the quantities and mark it received uh, in the batch listing screen. Uh, in the new box, it's very similar, um, but we've added a receiving mode. So the idea is that when you're in the receiving mode, all the items in the batch are editable. It's as easy as scanning the item, either entering the quantity received or copying the ordered quantity to the received quantity and clicking save. And then you would scan the next item. Um, it, let's say we only receive 25 um, and we have two that are damaged. You can mark those, hit save, and then so on. So. The receiving mode is slightly different, but because you're often editing uh, not just the quantity, but possibly adding um, an expiration date or updating other quantities, we allow you to edit everything at once. Now, in addition to um, the changes in how items are received, uh, we also have added batch item tags as well as inventory tags. So a batch item tag might be uh, one that you only want to apply to this batch, whereas an inventory tag is something that is going to follow the inventory. So at any time this inventory is added to a purchase order or a batch, you're going to see the tag associated with it. When these items, so if you click the show only items to receive filter, it looks like we haven't received this yet. So let's do that. Click save. Now we know that all items are received. We can also see that there have been no items with errors. And we can now go down and create the shipment plan. If for some reason an item is not found in inventory, you'll see this banner that says no listing exists. So this is a good way to 
know if items are going to create new M SKUs. By default, we don't create any new M SKUs, but if there is an item that's added to the purchase order that doesn't exist in inventory, you see that it's not in inventory by looking at the no listing exists. And if you need to create listings, you would click the button at the bottom to create listings. And finally, uh, when all listings or feeds succeed, click create uh, shipment plan. And if we've indicated that it's going to be case packed uh, through, in this case, uh, let me click out of receiving mode. So in this case, we're going to uh, force case backed here. So when that quick setting is selected, all shipments created from this batch would be case packed. And you'll see that in the create case pack shipment button. So that's an introduction to the new boxed. Thank you for listening.